how to recover permanently deleted files on a Windows PC. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown, welcome to Channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic, well if you're not, this is going to cheer you up and make your life more easier. So normally when you delete files on a Windows PC, what happens is that it goes to the recycle bin. Now, the recycle bin is a place wherein you could go ahead and review those files to see if you would actually need to remove them from your PC or you want to restore them. So in order for you to restore such files back to your PC, it's very simple. You just uh, double click on the item or the file and click on restore. It gets restored back to your PC. Or you could even use these tabs or shortcuts to restore all the files back to its original location. But what if you permanently delete these files or you clear out your recycle bin and you want to recover these files back to your PC. And not just these two files that I deleted on the video. Maybe files that are a week old or a month old or months old. This is what you need to do. Click on the link in my description and get onto this website called cleverfiles.com and download their free software for disk drill data recovery. Now, an interesting software through which you could recover your lost data. This also works for Mac. So, so if you have a Mac OS for an Apple PC, you could go ahead and download the software from this link. But if you have a Windows PC, you could click on this link for free download and the exe file gets downloaded to your computer system. The next thing is you install it. You could double click on this option and you install the file on your PC. Once the file is installed, it creates a shortcut for you out here. You could double click on the shortcut or you could just do a search for disk drill out here in the search box for your Windows PC and you could open the software from here itself. Once the software opens, you don't need to sign up. You don't need to provide any kind of a personal information. You could simply go ahead and immediately start recovering your deleted data. So in the first instance, when you open the software, it's going to take few minutes for it to realize what drives you have attached to your computer system. And it's going to show out here itself. Now, if you want to go ahead and recover data for your C drive or your main hard disk, you could just select that. Or if you have uh, another drive, you could select that specific drive and click on search for lost data. Once you do that, this is going to scan for lost files in the past couple of weeks or months or whatever it is. So as you can see, the scanning is on for deleted files on my PC. And if you want, you could go ahead and stop the scanning and you could search for files that were deleted. That's totally on you. But what I would suggest is let the scan complete. And as a free member, you could recover up to 500 MB on disk drill. So once you stop the scanning or if the scanning stops, you could go ahead and see what you would want to recover. So for instance, if you want to go ahead and recover, say, pictures that you had deleted in the past, you could click on pictures, get onto this page, click on this folder, or click on this arrow, you get a drop down, click on this option, and you could see that there are pictures that uh, you may just want to recover. So you could just uh, click on this option or click on the eye of view option to preview the picture out here. It's taking some time to load, but it will load after some time. So if this is one picture and this is another picture. Or if you want all the pictures to be recovered, you could just uh, select the entire folder and you could click on recover. And this is going to be recovered back to your PC. So not just pictures, you could recover old videos that you had deleted or audio files or documents or uh, archives or other documents that uh, you may have deleted. And if you find this interesting, if you think this tool is going to be helpful for you, you could go ahead and activate this with a full time subscription. You could click on the menu option. You get a drop down menu like this. Click on license and activation. You could go ahead and upgrade. I hope you got some value out of my video for today. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, post or comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.